Hey, you guys. This is your girl, Queen Thee Wayne Ray, which is Diva House of Queens TV. And we back with another one. Yes, we are. So, let's jump right on in. We have Oreo Cookie, Orion, Tisha Scott, and Miss Wanda. Okay, for those that do not know, um, on the, the um, last reunion, part three of um, Love and Marriage Hunters, all right? Okay, Oreo Cookie here went on her live. Every time they have something that got to pertain to Love and Marriage Huntsville, Oreo Cookie, the one right here in the um the black shirt and the um brown skirt. Her. Tisha Scott is in the middle and Miss Wanda is right there on the end in the pink. So every time something occurred on Marriage and Love Huntsville, she always got to come up and say something anything to be noticed so um i think carlos king had asked a question about uh no it came up okay marcel and, and um and maurice they were saying about them hanging around um martel and oreo cookie i was called oreo cookie but orion so, um, she came, um, well, Maurice was making it seem like, okay, he ain't never been around, um, them, but, um, Marcel has put, uh, posted a picture showing that, yeah, they all have been intertwined and, um, been around Ariel. And so, um, she was, like, I guess she was saying that she's been all around them and they all know about her and stuff like that. Woo woo not. And so she um, felt a type of way about what Tisha was saying about, you know, um, she not going to be around uh, a side chick and her friend feelings is, you know, being involved or hurt like that. So Oreo got in her feelings and she was like, um, Tisha better trail lightly and she better keep her name out of her mouth or she going to hurt her feelings and stuff like that. So Wanda being Wanda. You know, she um she ain't come in on her, but she was giving her opinion about what Oreo said. So let's just get into a little bit of what happened. She is a foundation of feelings, so you will never be able to hurt her feelings, period. Okay? So little girl, let me tell you this, and I want to make sure you get this correctly. I don't know where in the hell your mother at. But if she need to see me, tell her I'm here. I'm here for it all. I'm here for it all, baby. Now, I was trying to be nice to you, little girl. But you decide that you want to mess around with somebody else's husband, okay? That's on you. Don't throw nobody else up on the bus because you couldn't keep your mouth or your lid closed, okay? Don't throw nobody else out here. Don't put nobody else like thinking you can blow. And yeah, that's what um Oreo said. She was like, um, all y'all have secrets. All the men up there that's uh, married are cheating on their wives, and she hold a lot of secrets. She know everything, and she was insinuating that um Maurice, yeah, Maurice, Kimmy, Kimmy Scott, them two, yeah. He's cheating on Kimmy with a linebacker. And she went so far, baby. She went so far as in to have her um her her code. She was selling her clothes online. And her code for a percentage off was called linebacker. She was being so fucking messy and put a percentage in her discount code as a linebacker. The thing about it is with Oreo cookie. I'm going to get into it later because I'm going to give y'all this commentary first and then... No, first I'm going to give y'all this, and then I'm going to come back with my commentary. On somebody else's house, up like you did the first house. The first house was made out of straws, baby. Now, you think you got sand? My baby house is not made out of sand. It's made out of brick. And it's going to take a lot to knock it down. So, when you come at my daughter, you better come correct, okay? Don't come loose. Loose, 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 baby, because that's exactly what you are, loose goose. So don't let me come at you 
If you want to join my live, you can do that right now. I know you're listening at it. Come on, on, baby. I'm ready. I am ready for it all. So, okay, I'm not going to sit here and just hear her rambling and rambling and rambling. I'm just going to give y'all my commentary on this situation. People always say that um, Marsu is cheating on Tisha. Miss Wanda may know. Miss Wanda is in the streets. She, she, you know, she um got her assumptions or whatnot. Tisha ain't that damn dumb. That she want everybody to think that she's dumb when it comes out to her husband. My thing is this: Ariel is trying to get on Love and Marriage Hunter. It's been three seasons. They've been dogging your ass out since season fucking one. They've been dogging you out since season one, and you keep coming on live saying this is, and, and saying that throwing these little jabs and hooks and all this other kind of stuff at Melanie because you mad. That because you mad at her, but you slept with her husband. How ignorant can you be as a woman, girl? You slept with Melody's husband. She didn't sleep with yours. And then, just like Martell, y'all two belong in that pot. Because y'all both are ignorant creatures. He want to throw people under the bus. You want to throw people under the bus. That's why y'all get along so well. He don't want to be with you. And then you want to get up on your live and say, y'all better trail lightly because I know all y'all secrets. Don't let me start talking. You been talking, girl. You been talking. And they been on that show dogging you out. So if you going to say something, go ahead and say it. Or... If you ain't going to sit there and say what you're going to say, then stop jumping on your live trying to dig shots at Melly. Melly done went on with her life. Melly is leveling up. Were well, you still stuck and still messing with her now ex-husband? And they're not going to bring you on that show. Carlos King did a um a interview with the Jasmine brand. And the thing that came about was that um he said that he's not like other shows. He's not going to bring a person and blindside them on the show because the fans and, and other people want to see her on the show. He is not going to bring her on that show because they have to vote. Only person that may gonna bring her on the show maybe is um Martell. But I don't think he gonna do it because if Melly on that show, then what? Then what? Kimmy don't want her around. Tisha damn sure don't want her around. Maurice and Masu, they know she probably know that she know their secrets. So of course they don't want her on the show. Only person that's gonna want her on that show is Martell. And he only gonna want her on the show that's to make Melanie spiteful towards Melody. So, Carlos King already said that just because it would make for good television, but Melody and Martell brought that show to them. They he, she they pitched that idea to him. So you think he's gonna bring her off Bram Tell to that show just for that ratings? The ratings already went up. And what is she going? What is Arya gonna tell us? as viewers, that she ain't already said on her own live. Now, what would have made them bring you on this show, surprisingly, if you would have stayed out of it? Funky Dineva, he found who she was. He didn't post her picture, but he posted her name. So what is Oreo going to Tell us as viewers that she ain't already said for the last three seasons of Love and Mary Tunfield. And if she going to expose somebody, girl, go ahead and say it. If not, shut the F up. Because they been talking about you. They been dragging you all up and down Huntsville streets. So you just want people to tune in to your lives and hoping that you got some juicy gossip. Maybe you do or maybe you don't. But if you do, go ahead and say it. If not, girl, shut up. Don't nobody care about what you're talking about. 
not, nothing else. Because we know season season four is coming up. They got renewed for season four. We know that already. So until the end to that, all you're going to do is sit back and watch and get mad and mad and mad. So they bring up your name. Well, they don't bring your name. They don't call your side chick, the mistress, in other words. And you answer like a weak individual that you are. Low vibrational, low energy woman that you are. They don't say your name, Ariel, Oreo. They say side chick, mistress, the other words and stuff like that. And you sit on your lap and you answer to what they say about you knowing that that's not your name. Could you sit up and say, hmm, you, they, they said my name, y'all. They said my name. They was talking about me. Girl, they did not, they know, okay, us as um, country creators and other people's watching viewers, they know who they're talking about, right? We know who they're talking about when they say side chicken, mistress. But they didn't say your name. So if somebody don't, that have never watched this show would know who's the side chick and who's the mistress and all that kind of stuff. But you're going to let them know because you're going to get up on your live and they're going to put two and two together and going to say, oh, that's who she they talking about? I wonder who that girl name was. But you are who you answer to and you answer to mistress and side chick. That's a sad, sad ingredient as a black woman. Like Miss Wanda said, Tisha House is made out of brick. Yours was made out of straw. So just like the um the story with the with the bad wolf and three little piggies, he huff, he puff, he huff and he puff and they blew your house down and um in, in this instance, baby, you was huffing and, and puffing and whining and grinding and you blew your own house down. You blew your own foundation down and you loud. Well, you can't call Martell a wolf. Because that would give him too much credit. Because a wolf is so-called some kind of, of a bad thing. And Martell is n- n- too far from not no bad-ass man. He weak just like you. He allowed... Sex. And romance. And false hope. Whatever he was getting out of whatever y'all was doing, he allowed that to break up his marriage because he was so low energy and low vibrational. He didn't know the strength of his own life and what a real foundation was. He allowed the devil to come into his household and destroy it. And you still have time to just co-parent with him and don't let him into your bed, but you still let him into your bed because you want to be in a limelight, honey. You want to be famous. You want to be manly. You should dress up, dress up for her as Halloween because you want to be her so bad. <laughs> don't start doing the, the Cardi B and Nicki Minaj stuff with your face done to look like somebody that you hate so bad, but you want to look like them so much. I don't get it, women. I don't get it. You're starting to talk like her a little bit. Some people have brought that up. Why you trying, you trying, why you trying to have your little soft voice sound sound like Melody? That's just the first step. What are you going to start doing plastic surgery next? But let me get on out of here. I've been talking enough. I'm just, you know, giving y'all a little visual. Because y'all know your girl can talk. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this, um... This content, if you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, the notification bell button, so it'll keep me in the algorithm. Like this content, and I'll catch y'all on another one. I love you guys, my kings and my queens. Love yourself, love who you with, and love who love you. Love yourself, love who you with, and love who love you. Yeah, I'm trying to clear up. Um, I know I curse a lot. I'm trying to clean that up as well. So... You know, you don't catch me. You don't catch me and uh, some of have some little slips. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting this black owned business. I love you guys. Love yourself. Love who you with. And I'm out this be out. 
I'm about to be out. Brr. <laughs> yes, I'm about to be out. Brr. Bye, you guys.